My name is Mildred Ngesa. I am the head of communications at FEMNET. FEMNET is the African Women's Development and Communications Network. It is a region, a pan-Africanist feminist regional organization that actually focuses primarily on enhancing the rights for women and girls in Africa. FEMNET has been in existence for the last 30 years. We work in 47 African countries. And when I say 47, I mean that out of the about 700 members that we have in FEMNET, and 700 members encompassing both individual and organizations, we actually represent quite a bit of the entire continent in terms of pushing for policy that are friendly for gender uh, equality and women's empowerment. We are in Kigali today in collaboration with Africa's media from eight African countries. We are in this training that encompasses journalists from Zambia, from Tanzania, from Mozambique, from Rwanda, from Liberia, from Guinea, <laughs> from Kenya and from Ghana to discuss issues around sexual and reproductive health and rights. We as FEMNET actually acknowledge and realize that SRHR is not prioritized by media in terms of coverage. We see sporadic coverage of issues impacting on women and girls that touch on sexual and reproductive health and rights. What is in focus for us in this training are number one, issues like access to safe abortions or issues like ending harmful practices such as female genital mutilation and issues like ending child marriage and forced marriages of children. We know that is actually in existence in most of our African countries. We see that when journalists cover these issues, they are a bit soft on the issues. They are not very proactive. They are not hard eating on the issues. They don't compel the duty bearers to act to stop. And so our push for FEMNET in this training is to ensure that we consolidate all the efforts from the media and from our experts who we have in this training to see how we can chart forward a media agenda on reporting SRHR that will ultimately culminate in changing the lives of Africa's women and girls for the better. We are unpacking issues, policy, issues, law, and issues which journalists can invoke to be able to push for change in their countries. We are also looking at case studies and seeing what it is that persists in different countries that is extremely dire, that needs our urgent intervention so that the women and girls in that country continue to live in dignity and their lives and the standards of their lives are improved.